We're here in the crash hall at our vehicle research center where we run all sorts of crash tests for consumer information. But Raul, I wanted to talk about a couple really interesting tests we recently did. We basically took several vehicles and put a lot of weight into them. Why did we run these tests? We took some old junkers, we took some heavy steel plates and concrete blocks, actually some of these concrete blocks that we see behind us. We got their mass up to about 9,500 pounds, and what we wanted to do was check out our propulsion system to make sure that we could tow in a vehicle that weighs a whole lot more than we're used to testing. Yeah, because the system, obviously the vehicles aren't driving towards the barrier, they're being, they're being tugged by a, a system that runs underneath the crash hall, right? Right, this propulsion system that's you know, right beneath me here, uh, it's a tow cable connected to our uh, crash machine that has to use a lot of energy to get the vehicle up to speed and maintain it all the way up until the time it crashes. And so we want to make sure it can do it smoothly and maintain that accurate test speed. So why do we want to know if our, if our system can all of a sudden handle this extra weight? Well, for years and years, this crash machine has had no issues conducting tests you know, for over, over 20 years. With electric vehicles coming in and that battery weight pushing vehicle mass higher and higher, we wanted to make sure that if and when those vehicles come to market, and some of them already are, we want to be able to know that we can conduct the test here, and if we can't, we need to make some modifications to our crash machine. Yes, yeah, so, so we ran this, uh, this test, you said 9,500 pounds, which is actually a lot heavier than the heaviest vehicle we've ever tested, it's, right? Yeah, it's, it's heavier than the heaviest vehicle we've ever, ever tested. There's an electric vehicle, a large SUV we've tested, the Audi e-tron, which is under 6,000 pounds, but with some of these electric vehicles that have been advertised coming in the next few years, one as high as 9,500 pounds, which is, huge. I mean, it's much yeah. bigger than, than anything we've seen. We wanted to make sure that we could crash them here. Let's talk about the results. So we used an F-150. We loaded it up with weight. Yeah. What was the target speed we were trying to hit? The target speed was 40 miles an hour. Uh, now, it doesn't sound incredibly fast. Some people that, especially if you're driving along the highway, but all of our frontal crash tests are conducted at a maximum speed of 40 miles an hour. That goes for our moderate overlap crash and our small overlap crashes on the left and right side of the vehicle. So we wanted to make sure that at our maximum frontal crash speed, we'd be able to test the vehicles, and we were successful. Okay, so, so we took this old F-150, 9,500 pounds. We've got about 600 feet of runway, yeah. and we were able to get it up to 40 miles per hour. We were able to get it up to 40 miles an hour and hold that speed, it worked. Well, thank you so much, Raul, for your time. You're welcome.